हेलो देर एंड वेलकम टू लिनिक टेस्टिव एंड दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट एन ई मेल क्लाइंट सो एज यू नो देर आर मैनी क्लाइंट्स अवेलेबल टू लिनिक्स ऑलरेडी लाइक के मेल एवोल्यूशन थंडर वर्ड और ही एंड पीपल लव दीज क्लाइंट्स एंड दे यूज दैम ऑन देयर रेगुलर बेसिस हाउ एवर फोर फाइव ईयर्स बैक एन ई मेल क्लाइंट दैट लिटरली डिसरप्टेड द लिनिक्स कम्युनिटी विद इट्स डिजाइन एंड फीचर्स इट वॉज नोन एज नाइलेस एंड इट गॉट वेरी पॉपुलर However the company decided to dump the project after 2 years of its initial launch but as it was an open source project some brave souls revived the project and now you can say hello to the mail spring email client so this is the fork of that application and they have literally revived a dead project so in this guide we will install this application and we will set up an email address to the application so it has so many features i mean it literally has so many features for example you can set up your multiple accounts touch and gesture supports advanced shortcuts search options undo send and these all features and one of the most popular feature is read received and link tracking that means you can know when that guy has read your email and it has inbuilt a dark mode as well and your localized language so these features are included in the mail spring of course all the features are not available to the free version of the mail spring i mean you can get a subscription for 8 bucks per month and you will have all the features but this is completely optional and you have the full functional application for free so you can download this application and uh, it gives you three options the dot dev file dot rpm file and the snap application so you, you can go with any one of these for example if you do not want to install the regular dot dev or rpm file then you can simply download the snap application simply execute this command this is ubuntu and it uses a dot dev package file if you use fedora or any distribution that uses dot rpm file then download this one so i'm going to download this file and we will install it in the system now i'm going to install this package in the system so and you can also find a link in the description that will take you to the linuxstudio.com and from there you can get all the commands for the installation so do not worry about that so i'm just going to install it into the system so i have just changed my directory to downloads so this is an alias and i just have to type the down in order to change my directory to downloads so if you want to know how to set up your own aliases then watch out this video and uh, it will teach you just that so i'm just going to install the file for that i can type sudo apt install so i have typed the file name now i can simply hit enter and type in the password so this will install the application in my system and if you want to know more about how to install a dot dev file then check out this video this will also guide you on that if you are new to linux so the installation has just completed now i can simply close this window from here and i can open up the application launcher and search for mail spring and here is the mail spring if you want to install this launcher then check out this video and this will teach you just that So this is the starter window that you get as you can see the look and design is really new so you can simply click on get started and this will give you some of the features review so just click on next 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 and here you have to create a mail spring id so for that you have to type your name so i'm just going to type just click on create mail spring id So here you can connect to these popular email services so they are listed here directly so you can click on gmail if you want to connect to a gmail account or index if you want to connect to an index account but i'm going to connect to my domain name email address so for that i'm going to use these two protocols for sending or for receiving the emails so for that just click on it and provide the details so it has configured the email address here so i can simply choose from these two layouts so this is reading panel off and reading panel on so i'm going to choose uh, this one here so uh, this is like uh, the gmail and this is uh, like the other email clients 
and I'm going to deselect here because I do not want any kind of promotional emails. So I'm just going to click here looks good and I'm going to finish the setup. So here it has fetch all the emails from the server. So it has like these options here like open the link tracker here. So this will simply show me the links related activities. I can search for emails here and I can do these different kind of stuff and this email client if I want to send the email I can simply write the email here and this will send it and I can enable these different features in the email as well for example if you want to translate what something or I want to enable or disable the tracking or link tracking and uh, these features basically are unique to this email client for example you can schedule your email if you want to send it later and you can also add some kind of templates here so that you can simply use those templates to send the email in a particular format. So just go around this uh, email client and learn about the new features that it offers and uh, yeah and that's it about this guide and if you find it helpful then do not forget to like this video let me know what you think about this in the comment section below and I'll catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying Linux.